Okay, remember you need to get your water cups, your watercolors. I don't want to see anybody digging in the paint. The paint should not get that thick. Your paint needs to be watery. Anytime you go back to get more paint, you need to have water first. Anytime you go back to get more paint, you need water on your brush. You guys, did you know that they make blue corn tortilla chips? Those are my favorite. <laughs> so when did you guys learn about the three sisters? Last year? I want to see people using water. See how I'm doing each individual kernel? this color example or that color example. Remember, if you start using uh, cool colors on your corn, can I put red kernels on here now? No. I can't because red is not a cool color. If you start with yellow kernels, can you also put blue kernels? No, you can't. Because yellow and blue are not the same. They're, one is a warm and one is a cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Remember, every time you go to get color on your brush, you need to do water first. Let's talk about another color. A neutral color. Bra now, brown is a neutral color because if you mix red, yellow, and blue together, it makes brown. I will allow the only color that's not warm or cold, you may use brown because brown is a neutral. I forgot. We should have wrote that down on the back. Maybe next time. Maybe next time when you guys come and your paper's dry, you can write it down. And guys, it's almost time to clean up. So what you're going to need to do is uh, I need all the Sharpies right now. I'll come pick them up. And when I come to pick up your Sharpies, you're going to go clean up your uh, stuff and put your papers on the drying rack. Thank you. 